clean, Ryan Anderson it. speaks on if Gypsy's baby is his. Let's see. Spill the tea on Gypsy. Come on, guys. Any tea on Gypsy? Yeah, I got tea on Gypsy. Guys, I know Gypsy pretty much, and she's told me stuff that nobody's ever told. Like, she's never told anybody. You know, like, but time and place, guys. Time and place. Um, you know, my divorce is getting close. Um, you know, ooh, that was cool. Thank you for that gift. Uh, and so, uh, divorce is getting close and, uh, there's a time and place. I know y'all want me to, well, I just saw somebody happy birthday. Do I have a Ravens jersey? I would love a Ravens jersey, but I don't know who to get. Like, I wish they still had Patrick Queen because as I tried to, I tried to buy jerseys with only LSU players, uh, cause I'm that big of a fan of LSU and like. Somebody I saw recently wear a jersey. I hate bandwagon fans, and that was a clear bandwagon fan. Uh, if I'd have seen him wearing that Burrow jersey, I'd have ripped it off of him. But whatever. Uh, ugh, made me sick. It's a Cowgirls fan. Anyway, uh, was Pixie going to be for Halloween? That's a good one. I don't know. I hadn't thought about it. You know, it's October 2nd. You know, I mean, I got time. Uh, I actually have a Chiefs jersey, guys. I saw I need a Chiefs jersey. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thank you for that. I actually have a Chiefs jersey. I bought a <laughs> – it's kind of funny now when I think about it. But uh, when Gypsy was about to get out of prison, we were supposed to go to the chiefs Bengals game. And um, – you know, I'm a Bengals fan because of Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. And I wanted to wear my Jamar Chase or Joe Burrow jersey to the game. It was Bengals Chiefs. And, of course, Gypsy talked me into, no, you're going to a Chiefs game. You got to wear a home jersey. So I ended up buying a Travis Kelsey jersey. Um, but I've never wore it because I don't like the Chiefs. Uh, if y'all are Chiefs fans, more power to you. Uh, that's just not my team. Uh they're really good. I'm not saying the Chiefs aren't good, but that's not my team. But I do have a Chiefs jersey. Uh, I do have a jersey with my name on it. The Chiefs don't like me. <laughs> that's fine. I don't need love from the Chiefs. I ain't worried about it. <laughs> that was funny. I like that last comment. Uh, hey, more power to you. If you're a Chiefs fan, good for you. Hey, they win. I tell you what, they win. Uh, in the Super Bowl, my soon-to-be ex-wife was rooting for them, but she went to prison with all those Chiefs fans. So, uh, What's my favorite childhood memory? Wow. That's a good question. I have so many. Uh, I really had a great childhood, despite I grew up in a broken household. A broken household. My uh, mom and dad got divorced when I was very young, like three. And my dad and mom, they despised each other. And so there was a lot of bad blood there. Uh, but my dad never stopped loving my mother. So it was one of those where his hate was because he loved her and wanted to be with her. And, uh, you know, I remember all the time getting picked up by my dad when I did see him and he would guilt trip me to death. So, uh, and be like, you know, so that's one reason I just guilt trips aren't my favorite thing to do to people or like people do to people. I mean, before I don't like guilt tripping people at all, but, um, you know, but despite all of that, I still had a great childhood because I was lucky enough to know my great grandparents, not just my grandparents, my great grandparents. And I called them Granny and Pops. And every every summer we got to go to Granny and Pops' house, my brother me and my brother, and my two cousins. Uh and God, I had a lot of great childhood memories out there. Like we'd ride four wheelers and motorcycles. Um, it was amazing. Uh I love people who are begging for a poll. All right. Let's see.
All right, so I got some new glasses, guys. All right, I'm going to show y'all the glasses, and we'll do a poll with my glasses. I'll let TikTok decide what are their favorite glasses. Okay, so y'all see the gray frames? I wore these because they're like my lounging pair, but also these are the only pair that don't hurt my eyes yet. Uh, like, you know, when you buy a new set of glasses, you put them on, and it's like, whoa, you start tripping out because your prescription, at least that is for me. And uh, so I decided to buy multiple pairs, but this is the only pair that hasn't like killed my eyes yet. So I just got my glasses. But anyway, there's the gray pair of my frames. All right, and I'm gonna put on my black pair. Uh, now these black pair are probably my most expensive ones, but I like the black frames. But, all right, so we got the black frames. All right, so there's the black, solid black, all right. And then here's the solid gray. All right. So gray is going to be, the gray ones are going to be red. The blue ones are going to be blue. I mean, the black ones are going to be blue. All right. So here we go. There's my first poll. All right. Gray for blue. I mean, gray is red. Black is blue. What y'all think? All right, these are these. All right, I see them kind of mixed. There's my black pair again. Uh, and then here's my gray pair. Now the gray pair are like my lounging ones. They kind of look similar. My black pair are more expensive. Oh, glowing fish, thank you for that. Glowing jellyfish, I love seeing those. Uh, but anyway, so what y'all think of that? All right, so it looks like the black pair's winning more than the gray pair guys i've tried contacts I, I actually i haven't tried contacts i don't growing up my cousin always had contacts and he always would have trouble with them or he'd leave them in and or he'd forget to put them in his in his like little case and this was before they had disposables and i used to hate seeing him mess with his eyeball so it was one of those where i was like no nah, i'm not wearing contacts now I can see without my glasses, but I can't, like things are fuzzy somewhat further away and light bothers me. All right, so the poll, it looks like the black pair one of these, okay? So the black pair one on my first poll, all right? Black pair one, these are probably my nicest. All right, we're gonna do another poll. All right, now these are my wire frames. All right, so, oh, big C. I wanted to take my, my glass case. All right, so here are my brown set. All right, there's my brown set, wire frames. All right, so there's my brown set. All right, get a good look. I almost wore these to work today because I had a little brown in my stuff. All right, so there's my wire frames. All right, my brown ones. I kind of like tinted brown. Anyway, there's those. And then my other set, I got my gray frames with a little black on the side. So here are my gray ones. I've got my gray wire frames. Okay. These are nice. All right. And I got these. So these are a little different. All right. So we're going to do a poll. All right. Do a poll. All right. So these are the blue and the brown are the red. All right, so gray, brown. All right, these are red, gray or blue, or gray. I'm letting TikTok decide, which I don't know why, but these are like, Probably my nice glasses. These are probably like my dress-up glasses. Those are the black ones. But they look a little different. And the light's catching y'all. But see, they're a little different. I don't know. Mixed reviews. All right. But I bought like different colors. Whoa. These messed me up. I am not ready for these, guys. I don't know why. But, whoa, these are stronger than all of them. So, if y'all like these, I appreciate it. But I'm not ready for those. God bless. Whew. That just threw me for a loop. 
All right, so, and then the other ones were the brown ones. I can wear these a little much. Guys, I'm going back to gray. Like, these are the only ones that don't hurt my eyes yet. Like, I got all my glasses in yesterday, so I went and picked them up yesterday. Drinking Dr. Pepper, there's my Bret Hart cup. You see that logo, look, there's Brett behind me. Everybody's like, is that a Bret Hart poster? Yes, it is. Bret Hart's my guy. That's my, my childhood hero. You know, I am a wrestling fan. I'm a football fan. I'm a sports fan. I've showed people this one. That's my Brett and Sean. Both are signed. Brett signed right there. Sean signed right there. And then I have, like, Stone Cold. Stone Cold doesn't do a lot of... Uh, signings doesn't he used to not but i got that one signed by stone cold that one probably could be worth money one day and then i don't think y'all have ever seen my sting one y'all know who sting is i got that one signed and i don't really like sting's autograph but here's what it is gypsy you seen you remember this one huh gypsy you remember that one yeah you remember that one you remember that one, huh, Gypsy? <laughs> Sorry, inside joke. All right, I'm flipping the camera so y'all can see Pixie. All right, look. Oh, that's a good girl. That's my good girl. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right, that was a good idea. Let me flip the camera. All right. Somebody just asked me, do a poll for my jerseys. Okay. Guys, I'm wearing a baseball jersey. Of course, it's baseball playoffs. So I'm wearing a baseball jersey. I'm wearing an Astros. Alex Bregman, like I said, a little disappointed that they lost. But I've been wearing, I've wore basketball jerseys before and football jerseys. So do y'all like me in, do, do I look, I don't know. Do you prefer me in baseball jerseys or basketball? Baseball will be red. Basketball will be blue. Baseball jerseys red, basketball blue. And yes, one of the things going on, look. Big C, quit. Look, there's the puppy. What did you doing? They're voting. They're voting. Look, her eyes. You used to couldn't see in her eyes. So, all right. So, can't really remember. Basketball was red. I mean, baseball was red. Basketball was blue. Uh... All right, so everybody likes the baseball jerseys. I don't have many baseball jerseys. I have a lot of Astros ones. But what? See if I can get her to growl again. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care what the story is. Say, that's my girl. <laughs> Say hey. Say hey. Say hey, look. <laughs> I love that look. That's a good puppy. Look. Look at that look. Look. What? What? <laughs> that's my girl uh when is the paternity test guys paternity test will have to be taken after the baby is born um you know i want to do a poll on that honestly guys i i have my thoughts about gypsy's pregnancy i have my thoughts um but i don't really want to share them because guys it's really it's one of those things I I don't really want to share on alive. Um, time will come, and I will discuss it more. Now, I have days where I think ah, I almost discussed it. See, damn y'all guys, man! I get candid on here, and I start telling things I probably shouldn't say. Uh, who would win in a fight? Come on. Who would win in a fight? Really? Wouldn't even be close. 
wouldn't even be close. Like, yeah, whatever. Somebody said Ken. Yeah, right. Like I said in my ET interview, he does not want to see me in public. And they almost did. Or they tried anyway. That would have been a mistake. Walking Tiger Stadium and been like, oh, hey. It wouldn't have gone down. It wouldn't have been pleasant for him. But like I said, I would have ripped that jersey off because I hate bandwagon fans. And that was a big bandwagon fan wearing that jersey. He don't give a damn about LSU. So what a joke. What a joke. Look, there's Pixie. I love how people, I just saw a quote, move on. Because, okay. <laughs> I mean, I love how people are like, oh, you need to move on. Uh, guys, y'all weren't married to her. And, guys, I'm not on TikTok talking about her every day. You know, there's people who do lives where that's all they talk about. That's all they talk about is Gypsy. And I don't. Like, it's my life. Like, I lived it, okay? I don't need to talk about it all the time. Uh, so, I'm not going on Sir Morbid's live. Look, guys, I'm on my own live. Like, I appreciate Sir Morbid wanting me to come on live, but I have my reasons. Uh, I like doing my own thing. Uh, <laughs> speaking of, I got a email or a TikTok email or whatever a message from the lady that Gypsy and Christy and them tried to sue, who's been like one of her primary opponents, Gypsy's forever, and I know the inside scoop on all that. And she actually emailed me and said something so ridiculous. She was like, "Uh, hey Ryan, I'd love to give you a platform, a safe space to tell your side of the story." Yeah, yeah, I can't repeat what I posted to her. And blocked her immediately, like this woman. <laughs> like, like I would actually go on her stuff. No, it wasn't Katie Joy. It wasn't her. Uh, it was this other lady. I don't even like talking her name. So, uh, you know, I just think it's funny. Like, oh, you can come on my channel and do your say when I have my own TikTok live. And she has like, you know, like, I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but I have more followers than her. Why would I go on hers and, like, promote her when I have my own? And I know it wasn't Nina. It wasn't Nina, guys. It was some woman. I don't even like saying her name. Like, it's a woman who used to be business partners with Gypsy. Well, Christy, actually. And it went sideways, and then she got jealous and started spilling all the Gypsy stuff and released her medical records and just was jealous, really. That, that's my opinion. I think she was jealous. So next thing I know, she's turned on Gypsy. And then when I was married, when me and Gypsy were together, she talked about me. So I love how like her and Gypsy's old friend, like when they realized me and Gypsy split, all of a sudden, whoa. Whoa, now. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, you can turn off cause okay. Calm down, baby. <laughs> I said, calm down. I'm agitating her. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Calm down. Calm down. Look, she hates it when I get on lives. Like Pixie hates it. Pixie, we got Pixie in December. No, January. And Pixie was born in December, so she is ten months. That's about right. Ten months. Uh, yeah, Pixie's jealous. She hates me online. Quit. Quit. You're growling. Uh, I love how people are like, oh, you do it. You need to quit talking about her, but I'm literally, questions are coming across. So, you know, it's kind of funny. Uh, you know, and guys, I have more drama to go through with Gypsy. Like, you know, realize that, right? Like, I have more things coming that is drama related that I just can't let go because there's a lot 
of things that are left like so whatever I love when people are like move on and why don't y'all move on go on with your life don't tell me how to live mine you know what I'm saying like don't tell me how to live my life you live yours like I don't tell you how to live yours like so quit telling me how to live mine I appreciate it deuces so anyway I feel awful that Astros got eliminated like what baseball team am I going to watch now? Like, I don't jump on teams bandwagon and stuff, you know? Uh, my, like, I mean, I, my buddy's a Braves fan. I guess I'll go to the Braves, but they might lose tonight. They play the Padres. So, uh, LSU game was great. I just saw that. Uh, how was the game? Guys, I, I have season tickets to LSU games, so I go to a lot of games. Uh, and speaking of, all right, let's do a poll. All right. How many of y'all, like, believe that Gypsy had her tickets before my video that day? If you believe she had her tickets before she saw my video, hit yes. If you believe she bought them after my video, my marriage license video, blue. Go. This was the LSU game. Do y'all think... She bought them after seeing my TikTok video, blue. If she think, really thinks she bought them before, red. I love all the gypsy advocates. You can tell who's gypsy advocates. Yeah, blue. Blue's winning out. I can tell y'all the, the answer to that. As soon as the poll's done, I'll tell you the truth. All right, this is a landslide. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I love that. No, you can't. Yes, I can. All right, clearly, it was blue. Clearly. I mean, come on. Clearly. I'm sure it was because of that marriage license comment that I said, which wasn't even an attack at Gypsy. It really wasn't. It was an attack at her parents because they said it in the show. It wasn't even a stab at Gypsy. So, oh, shouldn't say that. Uh, wasn't even a dig at her. Uh, so, do I go by Ryan or Zaddy? That's hilarious. Stop it. I'm sure that was Amber J. Amber J, how you doing? Uh, that's my friend. Uh, I have talked to Amber J. I love the video of her laughing at me. Uh, so, Amber J, if you're out there, tell you and your mama I said, hey. I know your mom likes my videos, so. Uh, am I blushing? No, I'm not blushing. I think it's funny that I love her laugh, though. Like, when I saw her, Ken versus Ryan Polk, get over it. Get over it. I mean, I already know who would win in a fight, and, like, I've done those before. And you always laugh at it. Because I always said, you know, you can pick Ken Gypsy did. That was like one of the quotes that I hear all the time. And I'm so obsessed with her. Okay. That is my wife still, right? Okay. All right. Y'all are idiots if you think I'm obsessed. Anyway. Um, leave her alone. I, I don't bother her. Y'all don't. I don't bother her. It's funny. I, you know, in our whole relationship, in our whole relationship, she was the one that always called me. So, because she had to in prison. So, you realize, like, I don't call her. Like, I never did. So, like, it's one of those where I don't bother her. Uh, ow! Stop! Pixie. She is so jealous that I'm on a live right now. Quit being, quit being like that. Pixie being grouchy. Look, go play with a toy, babe. There, go play with a toy. So I love when people are like, leave her alone. I don't bother her. Uh, oh, I appreciate that. Uh, I, I'm not gonna answer. Does she still message me? I'm not gonna answer none of that. Uh, I've already done polls. Hey, from Texas. Guys, I feel bad for the people in, like, North Carolina that their town got washed away and stuff. And, like, I did see a TikTok video where uh, 
somebody sent an insulin shot to somebody that was in North Carolina on a on a drone, which was so cool. Like I love people helping people like that. Yeah, Tennessee's bad too. Uh, no, I don't hate Gypsy. I don't hate her. Uh, you know, I didn't know where to donate. Like I probably would if I. I mean, I'm sure I could go to Red Cross and donate. I probably should. I need to. Uh, you know, hey from Nola. Uh, poll, poll, do a poll. People, let me join. Come on now. Do I watch NFL, of course. I watch all sports. Well, you know, not all sports, but I'm not a NASCAR fan. I don't know how people watch NASCAR. Like I've been to a NASCAR race, had a lot of fun, but I had more fun because of the company I went with. It wasn't the race itself, although it's pretty cool. A uh, hockey, I'd love to go see NHL hockey live. Like I've heard, it is amazing, and I need to go to a game. I'd I'd love to. I uh, actually, it was funny. I actually talked to uh, probably the last time I've really talked to him, Chris Jericho. We we talked about hockey. That was a long time ago. We texted about it, which was awesome. Uh, but uh, yeah, I need to go to a hockey game. Like that would have been awesome. Uh, does Gypsy see Pixie? No. Uh, she used to want to Facetime her a lot, but or at least see her when we talk through Facetime. But no, uh, guys. Honestly, I haven't really seen Gypsy since she left. Like that's one of the hard things, guys. Is honestly, is that the fact that when we split. Like, that was it. It was like, Ken came in and it was done. Like, that was hard. You know, that's my wife. Uh, so, that was probably the hardest part. But, you know, it's kind of funny. I know, I know that she has wanted to see me in the past and people have said no. So, but I'm moving on from that. I'm moving on from mentioning her. Uh, the Menendez brothers. I, I want to watch the show on Netflix uh, about them. Uh, the Dahmer show was great. And if the Mendez brothers are by the same producer or the people who did the Dahmer show, I'm sure it's great. Have y'all seen it? Let's see. Poll. Yes, you've seen it. Blue, you haven't. The Menendez brother thing on Netflix. Red, you've seen it. Blue, you haven't. Pixie, you haven't seen it, have you? You haven't seen it? I'd watch it, Daddy. <laughs> hey, Denver, thank you for the dolphin. Genocide, thank you for the roses. All right, so a lot of people haven't seen it. Pixie, give me back my vape. <laughs> Actually, they're in my pocket, so she ain't getting it. Speaking of, here's Pixie. Because this is the first time I've been on live in a while. I didn't know if anybody would join. Honest to God. I really didn't know. Um, you know, I, I know that people like my lives and they like, you know, how silly I am and things like that. But, you know, uh, it's been a while. Um, it's been a while since I've done a live. So I didn't know how people would respond. I see I got like 8,000 people in here, which is great uh my likes aren't as good as i want like i'd love like a million likes but it is what it is the people in here is great uh, jl thank you for the corn thank you guys for the roses i really appreciate it watching from the uk that's awesome sendez thank you for the dolphin uh y'all love me i appreciate that y'all heard the man get some likes look bam Guys, that is amazing. Y'all are awesome. Uh, where's the jerseys? Ah, dang. Last time I did a live, I did say I'd have my jerseys. Okay, guys, I, I promise y'all this. I will wash all of my jerseys. I will hang them up, and I will hang them from those two doors. I don't know if they'll fit all there. Those two doors, and I'll show y'all all my jerseys next time. Okay, I got quite a few. Uh, I got a lot of. Uh, I actually had somebody message me, and I thought it was so cool. Uh, 
they said, hey, Ryan, we know you love jerseys and everything. We would love for you to, do you have a jersey that you could sign and send to me? And I responded and thought that was the coolest thing ever. I was like, guys, I would, I would love to sign a jersey. But I told them, like, uh, you'd have to buy the jersey. I don't want to give any of my jerseys away. They all have, like, sentimental value or I bought them for a reason. All my jerseys have a reasoning behind them. So I told him if he bought the jersey and sent it to me, I would gladly sign it. Like, I thought that was, like, the coolest idea ever. I was like, hell yeah, I'll sign your damn jersey. Like, that would be awesome. Uh, hey, Jane. Hey, Ann. I think I saw that. Uh, do I still have Pixie? Yeah, right there. I just saw somebody say I need to sign a jersey and sell it. Would anybody buy that? Let's see. All right. Red, yes. Blue, no. Would anybody buy a jersey that I... One of my jerseys that I sell or like sign and sell, would anybody buy it? I don't see why they would. Auction a jersey. I got a lot of blues, a lot of reds. You know, if you would actually buy it or bid on it, hit red. I mean, come on, guys. I'm just a dude who likes jerseys. I'm just a normal dude, so it is what it is. Oh, thank you for that, bro. Pinch face. Face a little red right now. <laughs> I love people sell it and donate the proceeds. That'd be cool. You know, I have donated to charity before. Uh, why do I like jerseys? Guys, jerseys are comfortable. All right. I like jerseys because I've always worn them. Even when I was a kid, I always wore jerseys. And I've always found them comfortable. And... I guess when I started doing lives and everything, I noticed that I was wearing jerseys a lot and people commented about my jerseys and it just became a thing that I do now. So, but I've always wore jerseys and also on the Lifetime show, they would not let me wear a jersey and I was bummed out about it. Like I remember talking to the producers, good friend, uh, David, and I even talked to another friend, uh, I don't want to say her name, just out of privacy, but great people. I talked to them and was like, look, guys, I would love to wear a jersey, and they couldn't copyright it. They couldn't get, like, the Major League Baseball logo or the NFL logo or any logos of that. You know, I had wrestling shirts that I wanted to wear, and, like, me and Gypsy went on Jericho's podcast, and, like, I had a Jericho shirt I wanted to wear, and they wouldn't let me. Actually, I got permission to wear a shirt for that podcast, and... So I wore a shirt, but it wasn't his. Dr. Pepper. It's all I drink. They actually, the producer later told me that they actually contacted Dr. Pepper to see if, like, they could use their logo. They did that with everything. Like, with Laffy Taffy, Gushers, everything that I, like, all the candy and stuff that I eat. And I thought that was great. I like coffee that, you know, they try, they actually do that for all the shows, they say. But I didn't know that till after, so I thought that was awesome. Uh, but yeah, I, that's, I think that's why I wear jerseys, guys, is because I couldn't for so long. And then when I could again, I just, they were comfortable. So, uh, but now people expect me to wear jerseys when I'm on here. Cause, oh, excuse me. Because if I don't wear a jersey, people are like, where's the jersey? Where's your jersey? God, that light's bright. That's a little better. That's a little better. No, guys, I don't show the chain. I don't show this chain, okay? I don't show what's on it. Uh, it is, I bought this chain a long time ago. I was 19, and it has a reasoning behind it. Uh, I was bad off. Uh, I was young and wild in my young days. Uh, and this chain kind of helps me remember not to go back to that spot. So, and it's got a cross on it. It's gaudy. And uh, so I wear it, and it's like, now it's like a weight thing. I Like it's a weight around my neck. I, I feel naked without it. So I wear it. Um, 
I actually got a chain for Christmas that I wore a lot during the show, that gold one you see. And I wore that because somebody bought that for me, obviously. That was like my Christmas present. I think it was in the show. But, uh, you know, when that all fell apart and it wasn't my choosing, uh, I started wearing my gray one again. But, hey guys. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> I just saw that. Yes, it is. Oh, thank you for that, Sky Sky, for the gold medal. Hello from Montreal. I love when people think I just walk around my apartment for no reason. Honestly, I just walked around for no reason. Actually, I got me a sip of Dr. Pepper. Uh, love you. Thank you for that. Uh, softball jerseys? I don't have a softball jersey. One million likes. That's my crew. Thank you guys. Team Ryan right there. <laughs> uh, I have drank Diet Dr. Pepper, but it doesn't taste as good. Thank you, Hiking Honey, for the amazing. Guys, one million likes. Appreciate it. Let's see if we can get to two million. I don't think I, I've got to two million before, but actually my highest like has been three million. Uh, so that was, guys, I don't ever stay on live long, but, um, is what it is. Uh, Sean Alexander, this dude just keeps saying gay, 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 whatever, dude. Uh, hey, Caitlin, how you doing? Uh, I think you saw me at Walmart one day, maybe. Uh, let's see. Hey, Danny, how you doing? Do I like the Yankees? No. Uh-uh. But I respect them. Astros did lose. Uh, I said this at the beginning. I'm wearing my Astros jersey because they had a game today. and But more importantly, they lost, which I'm upset. But I'm wearing it because this is an Alex Bregman jersey. And I appreciate him being an Astro for so long. That's an LSU boy. He went to LSU. So I love Alex Bregman because Astros are my favorite baseball team. And Alex Bregman went to LSU. So, of course, Alex Bregman is one of my favorite players on there. So, uh I wore, I'm wearing this today because he is now a free agent and he might leave the Astros, which I don't want him to. Owner of the Astros, keep Bregman. Keep him. Alex Bregman's one of the best third basemen in baseball. Keep Alex Bregman. You know, he's been your team forever. Keep him. All right. Anyway, uh, love my voice because it's so smoothing. I appreciate that. I think that's, I think that's one reason, uh, my ex married me, honestly, my voice. Um, you know, our relationship was long distance for so long. That's so cool. And my voice is soothing. Uh, and come on YouTube. Guys, I don't go to YouTube. Uh, do I like the Cardinals? My dad did. My dad loved the Cardinals. He used to go to St. Louis games, but he lived right up there. He lived in Arkansas. He lived like three hours from St. Louis, probably four, and he would go up there and travel. So my dad liked him. Who was my ex? Did somebody really just ask that? Y'all really don't know? Come on, guys. Y'all know who my ex is. Uh, well, yeah, Alex Bregman is from New Mexico, I think, but he went to LSU. So, that's LSU. What's Pixie into? Pixie. Well, I heard you. Well, I heard you. Look, there's another jersey right there. My cousin loves the Broncos. So, for his birthday, I brought him a Broncos jersey. And I haven't seen him yet to give it to him. But Pixie's messing with that, I think. Pixie. What you doing? See, I think she's messing with that. What you doing? Look, I have to hide my shoes, like the shoes that I wear, because Pixie tears into them. So that's why the shoes are on the table, is because if I don't, Pixie destroys them. Like, guys, she's still a puppy. So Pixie destroys my shoes. Uh, anyway, it's been a while since I did a poll. Let me think of one. Hmm. Let's see. 
All right. Somebody, that's such a stupid poll. I don't want to do a poll like that. Let's see. People like won't Ryan and Ken polls. I'm over Ken. Like, ooh. Uh, all right. Honestly, honestly, y'all think the baby's mine? Red, yes. Blue, no. Honestly. It's the only time I'll do this poll. Only time I'll ever do this poll. If you think it's mine, red, yes. Blue, no. Like, I don't. I'm not giving my thoughts on it, but it's the only time I'm doing that poll, and I didn't like to do it. I didn't want to do it. But I'm giving y'all the choice. I don't like that poll, but I did it just for you guys. Ain't that right, pigs? You're my baby, though, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Finally cut her eyes, but let's see the results. A lot of reds, guys. A lot of reds, some blues, okay? A lot of reds, though. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to give my thought process on that. Poll ends in nine seconds. The only time I'm ever doing that poll, guys. So you better vote. All right, a lot of reds. I don't know. I mean, my money's, if I was voting, I'd have voted probably blue. I mean, honestly. I'd have probably voted blue. I'm just giving my opinion. But I don't. That's the thing. is like, I won't know. I won't know. And that's all I'm going to talk about it. That's it. Uh, uh, I'm cute. Appreciate it. I think so. I like the goatee. People pick on me because I can't grow hair right there. Uh, but there's a dimple there. I don't, like, purposely shave it. See? You can see the dimple, it's like a little in, indent right there. So I can't grow hair there. It's not that I want to shave it in the middle, like anti, you know. Like I'm like, oh, I think we need a pole. I just gave y'all a pole. Uh, my beard 75% complete. Now that was funny. <laughs> That's about right. That's about right. Just did a poll. World Series winner. Uh, get a Brave jersey? Huh. I, maybe I like their colors if I got a Braves jersey it'd be the old school one with the royal blue here and the white and then the Braves there that's what I would do 1.3 million likes guys I love to get to two uh, A B D A uh Can me and Gypsy go on the Maury show? <laughs> Last time I was on live, I did mention that Steve, Steve Wilkos wrote me. And somebody like actually commented me and was like, Steve said he never contacted you. You're a liar. But why would I make that up? Like of all the shows out there, I'm going to make up Steve Wilkos? <laughs> really? Steve, nothing against you, but... Like, that was the show that would come across my mind? Come on. Like, I would make that up. Hey, how you doing? Uh, let's see. Dr. Phil, Gypsy's been on Dr. Phil. Uh, I'm not going to say her name. Uh, no, Dr. Phil's not even around anymore, but whatever. Uh, hey, Holly. Let's go Red Sox. I've actually been to a Red Sox game before a long time ago. They played the Blue Jays. Uh, I was young, but went to extra innings and the Red Sox lost. But I'm, I do have a Red Sox jersey, but I bought it a long time ago and it doesn't fit anymore. But I still have it. Am I still teaching? Yes, I'm still a teacher. Uh, this week's been, this week's been this week. Um, it's one of those things I'm tired from school, but that's what happens when you have a job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're tired when you have a job. So, anyway. Uh, yes, I am excited. Fall break will be here soon. I want to do something fun. Uh, it would be cool. Hey, Kathy, how you doing? Uh, do I actually have a job? Yeah, I have a job. I'm a teacher. Like... I love when people are like, oh, like you, you're like, 
I have a job, guys. I actually have a career. But whatever. Uh, love you too. Thank you for that. Uh, what's up, Morgan? What's up? I love you guys too. I am a middle school teacher. I uh, in special ed, uh, but I do middle school six through eight. All my students are either sixth graders, seventh graders, eighth graders, but I love it. Um, my students are great. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, appreciate it. Somebody said thank you for being a teacher. It's a hard profession, uh, but I enjoy it. Uh, it's all about the students, guys. It's all about the students. Uh, oh, speaking of, I have a story. Okay. I don't like talking about other content creators or anything like uh, I'm not going to talk bad about this lady whatever uh, but I want to set the record straight on something and I know that some people don't even know like what the story is but this past weekend I got on a live and I commented I came across my live not my live I came across my picture on this person's live and so I entered. It's the first time I see my, you know, I'm curious. So I see it and I click on it and then I say, like, thanks for the support. Hey, blah, blah, blah. You know, all right, see y'all later. Thank you for the support. Got out. Uh, it was like 30 people in there. Like, not a big creator. And it's just fine. But then the other day I was scrolling. I got in this live that I watched it's like wrestling figures one of the dudes I follow or whatever uh, and I was just scrolling I started scrolling I forgot to click the X to get out of the live and that girl's live popped up again with another picture of me so I stopped for like two seconds and then realized what it was and I scrolled again and then I hit the X and got out so I was like okay I X'd out um, then I get a message from somebody saying that this girl is like on her live telling people that I never love, I must not have ever loved Gypsy because she talks so much smack about Gypsy and all this stuff. And, you know, Ryan must never have loved her if she, if he's on this live watching me and she's like always going, I know he's watching my live. And apparently that's what she's doing. And like, I don't, I don't know you, girl. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not trying to say anything, but, like, if you've watched the show, you know I love my wife, my ex-wife. Like, that's ain't up for debate. And I didn't know that you talk smack about Gypsy. Like, y'all know I don't. You know, that's the thing, guys. I'm not going to just talk bad about somebody. So, I, I just don't. But, you know, I appreciate the fact that my picture's always on this person's live. It's, it's cute. But, uh, you know, stop thinking that you're going to be like, I'm your future baby or daddy or whatever. I heard somebody say that, like in a comment. But uh, much love to you for thinking that, you know, but I'm not watching your lives. <laughs> not trying to be mean, but I appreciate the love right there. Appreciate it. Uh, go Astros. That's right. I do need a mod. Like, I've been talking about that forever. I need mods to discuss my lives. And I never, I never do it. And I just don't know people. Like, it's one of those things where, you know, I don't know. I just don't. Hey, Robin, how you doing? Uh, do I ever miss my ex? I have days. I have days. Because I, I married her. Like, okay. If any of y'all have ever been through a divorce, y'all know how hard a divorce is, right? All right. And I'll do a poll. If you've been through a divorce, is the divorce hard or is it easy? Red, if it's divorce is hard. Blue, if it's not. If you've ever been through a divorce, if it's easy, it's red. If it's blue, if it's not. Like if you thought it was so easy. If blue is if you thought it was so easy. Red? No. I feel like it was hard. 
I mean, I have mixed things right there. I believe, you know, like, divorce is hard. At least it is to me. Hey, Nova Scotia, that was cool. You know, I have, like, if divorce is hard, if it's hard, hit red. If it's not, if you think it's easy, hit blue. Like, if you've ever been through a divorce, like, I love, like, people telling me that, like, move on. It's like a girlfriend. It, she wasn't my girlfriend. Like, it wasn't that situation, okay? Like, it's completely different. If it was just a girlfriend, then, yeah, I can get the obsessed things and stuff. But it wasn't. Like, was it? Go Saints. Who that? Man. My Saints, my New Orleans Saints, what happened to them? I'm still a who that guy, but what happened? Man, same thing happened last year. We were about to be 3-0, and and then we fumbled. Now, we, the New Orleans Saints do play the Kansas City Chiefs this weekend, or this upcoming Monday night, Monday night football. And, man, I want to beat those Chiefs so bad. Oh, I want to beat the Chiefs. Oh, I want to beat the Chiefs for personal reasons, for profe- for football reasons. I just want to beat the Chiefs, period. Like, like Chiefs are like great, but who that's better? Saints. Who that say they're gonna beat them Saints? Well, the Eagles and the Falcons did, but the Falcons got really lucky. That was not pass interference number one, and y'all didn't score a single. Offensive touchdown, I guess.